So what does that mean from an implementation perspective? What dates are we need to be concerned with and what do we need to do on those dates? Well, let's start with placing product on the market in Great Britain. And when I talk about Great Britain, of course, I'm talking about Scot uh, Scotland, England, and Wales. Right? When I talk about the United Kingdom, I'm talking about Great Britain plus Northern Ireland. So now when we're placing product in Great Britain and we're gonna sell that there. If we're doing that prior to January 1st of this year, so last year, the year before, the year before that, the United Kingdom was a member of the European Union, so CE marking was in force. So I simply put CE mark on the product, meet CE marking requirements, and I could ship it to Great Britain. After January 1st of this year, the UKCA mark became in force. So I could now apply the UKCA mark, meet all the UK regulations, place the market in the, in the United Kingdom using the UKCA mark, or at least in the Great Britain. But because we're in a transition period and that transition period has been extended, we have until the end of 2022 where we can continue to place product with CE marking or CE marked product on the market in the United Kingdom. After January 1st, 2023, when the transition period expires, the CE mark will no longer be acceptable in Great Britain and uh, the UKCA mark will be required uh, with the exception of spe special goods coming from Northern Ireland. We'll get into that in a minute. So a little note here about the dates. You notice that I put in here January 1st, 2023, that we can use the CE mark until December 31st, 2022. The original text had said that we can only do that until the end of 2021. We were supposed to stop using the CE mark as of January 1st, 2022, but on August 24th, which was about a month ago, the UK authorities extended that for another year, giving us another year of runway to prepare for this change. When we look at placing products on the Northern Ireland market, things are different because remember, they, Northern Ireland is going to continue to follow EU rules. So obviously, prior to this year, um, it was just standard business as usual, CE marking part of the EU. Now um, that we are in the transition period, we're still using the CE marking because remember, you, Northern Ireland will continue to use the CE mark as long as the Northern Ireland protocol is in force. So therefore, um, we have to continue to use the CE mark. However, there is a new mark, the UK NI mark, and that's to designate when you've used a third party conformity assessment party that is in UK. So for example, I need, I'm a, U, a Northern, I'm pricing product on the market in Northern Ireland. I have no intention of placing it on the market in, in the EU, just Northern Ireland. Then I might use a conformity assessment body in Northern Ireland to do that or use a UK conformity assessment body, in which case I can go ahead and say, use a conformity assessment body in England because I know I'm not gonna need to use that to sell into Europe. This mark tells the world that this CE mark is appropriate for Northern Ireland, but not appropriate for EU. And then after January 1st, 2023, again, no change because there is no transition period for Northern Ireland because there is no transition. Their CE mark remains. The only difference is that if you have a product that was evaluated by a conformity assessment body in the UK, you either need to have that reevaluated by an EU conformity assessment body, or you need to put this UK and I mark on and stop shipping that product to the EU. Now let's talk a little bit about qualifying Northern Ireland goods. These are qualifying goods that, were, uh, that are on the market in Northern Ireland and wish to access the United Kingdom market. These are goods which don't require the UKCA mark, even though they're going to Great Britain. Because again, Northern Ireland has an exemption to the UKCA. It doesn't apply to them. They can continue to use the CE mark. So they're going to follow the same thing as if it was placing it on the market in Northern Ireland. They're going to use the CE mark. They're going to designate if they've used a non-EU conformity assessment body by putting UKNI in there. That tells the United Kingdom this product is okay for shipment all through the United Kingdom, but tells the EU it's not okay for shipment in the EU because it hasn't met EU requirements in that no conformity assessment body in the EU has been used. Now, as a comment here, because this Northern Ireland protocol allows for alignment with EU rules, uh, a product who has used an EU conformity assessment body can be placed on the market in Northern Ireland. So really the UK NI mark is to show that the product cannot be, go to Europe because it hasn't been evaluated by a European conformity assessment body. Learn more by viewing the full length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.